Hey everybody, Saru here, and today we're going to be talking about an awesome little collection for the Nintendo Switch. That's the Psycho Collection Volume 1 here on Retro Japan. So before we get into this awesome collection of games, let's talk a little bit about Saikyo, the developer of this series. So Saikyo started off in 1992, consisting of primarily video system employees, the people who brought you Aero Fighters for other systems like the Neo Geo. Taking a look at Strikers 1945, it kinda has that Aero Fighters feel, down to the power-ups. They look strikingly similar. Moving forward, Psycho would be known as the company that created a bunch of great shooters with greats like the Strikers 1945 series, Gumbird, and tons more. This collection of games alone has two of those titles that I just mentioned. So let's go ahead and start off with Strikers 1945. This game is awesome. It's got tons of power-ups, a lot of great airplanes that you can choose from, and a bunch of different stages that you can play on. Those stages vary depending on which ship you pick to begin with. Let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay. Next on the list is the whimsical shooter Gunbird. Now this game was the very first of the Psycho games that I played. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of late to the game. I ended up playing this on the Sega Dreamcast, and this game I thought was super cool because one, I really liked the anime style of the game, and two, the characters just had more substance than you would see in shooters. There was a whole story just raveled around all these characters, and I thought it was a really nice touch. Here's the gameplay for that game. Next in the list is Samurai Aces, otherwise known as Sengoku Ace. This is pretty much Strikers 1945 with Flying Samurai. <laughs> this is also an airplane shooting game, but this one contains samurais as your pilots. Kind of an original idea. I guess no more original than having a dolphin as a pilot. I'm pretty sure that one tops the list as weirdest pilot.
Next on this list is Soul Divide. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It's a side-scrolling shooter game with pre-rendered graphics, a lot like you'd see back in the day, similar to games like Donkey Kong Country or Ragnarok on the Neo Geo. It has a weird look that at that time might have been kind of cool, but didn't really age so well. The concept of the game is interesting, and it's got different characters that you can play that all have different ranges or attack types, uh, like long range and short range, and then there's your average middle ground character. But uh, I find that a lot of the gameplay was really hard because the characters were just really big and just easy to get hit all the time. But anyhow, let's go ahead and show you a little bit of that gameplay. Overall, I think the collection is pretty cool and you get to play in multiple languages and different visual modes for the text. You can get the original text in the game or you could get this new, more clear, refined text which just makes it easier to read, especially if you're playing it in portable mode. Another cool feature about this collection is the gallery mode. You get to look at artwork for the game, concept art, and cover art that was used in the various games. All in all, I think the Psycho Collection Volume 1 is a great game to get if you're a fan of shooters. The Switch seems to be getting a good number of shooting games, and this is never a bad thing. But if you want to go ahead and pick this game up, I should have the link down in the description, assuming that the game is still available. I bought my copy from Play Asia. If you click on the link below, it also helps the channel out, so go ahead and check it out! Anyway guys, that does it for this little overview of Psycho Collection Volume 1 for the Nintendo Switch. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as underscore Sarumaru, so check me out if you want. Huge, huge shoutouts goes out to my small but loyal group of patrons. You guys are awesome. If any of you want to be part of the Saru crew and check out some cool patron-only stuff, come check me out at patreon.com forward slash Sarumaru. You don't have to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, folks, bye-bye.